Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's find the LCM and the GCF of 5, 8, and 10. I like to use a factor tree, so I'm going to get started. Uh, the factors of 5, 5 is prime, so I'm going to circle the 5. 8, I'm going to take 2 times 4, circle the 2, and then 2 times 2, circle both of them. Now for 10, I go 2 times 5, and they're both prime, so I will circle them. Now I create a chart. This just keeps everything nice and organized. And I'm going to write the prime numbers. For 5, it is 5. For 8, it doesn't have a 5, so I'm going to skip. It has a 2, a 2, and a 2. And then for 10, they have a 5, and then a 2. So, now, in order to find the LCM, you basically just multiply these together. But if you have two or three of the same numbers, or same numbers in a column, then you only bring the number down once. So I have two fives, so I'm going to bring down a five. I have two twos, so I'm going to bring down a two. I'm going to bring down one two here and one two there. So now all I do is multiply all this together. So five times two is ten, ten times two is twenty, and 20 times 2 is 40. So the LCM is 40. Now I can, uh, I'm going to rewrite this, car, this chart and I'll show you how to find the GCF. Okay, now for the GCF, the rule is this. You need to look for three of the same number or three numbers in a column. This column has two, so I'm not going to bring down the 5. This column only has two twos, so I'm not going to bring that down. This column only has one or one, so if you do not have any groups of three, the GCF equals one. Okay, I hope that helps. And so in summary, the LCM equals 40, and the GCF is one. Thanks for watching. And Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.